Welcome to my home state of Minnesota. Good morning everybody. So today we are starting off, well, in a parking lot because we just stopped at Glam Doll Donuts. And by we, one of my very good friends just came to visit me. Hello everybody. <laughs> so Kayla came um, to Minneapolis yesterday and we explored Minneapolis, showed her some of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to jump in the car, head up north to Duluth and see some of the beautiful sights to see here in the North Shore. So I'm really, really excited. We're eating our donuts and we're we got a whole bunch of them, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so we're gonna hit the road, get there in about probably two and a half hours and explore Duluth. <laughs> if you're coming from Minneapolis, you wanna take 35W North all the way to Duluth, which makes it really nice because it just makes it a straight shot. But when we got to Duluth, we really didn't spend much time there. We wanted to head straight um, up the North Shore. So if you want to see more of Duluth, just let me know in the comments below and I can do a little tour of Duluth. When you're driving on the North Shore, you want to take Highway 61 and then everything you want to see is along that highway. So the first stop that we took was to the Gooseberry Falls State Park and we made a whole entire vlog. So if you want to see that, you can check out the little information, the card above. So we made a little stop here in Iona's Bay just to give our legs a little stretch and to see the little bay here. It's really, really pretty. You walk a little pathway, just a few hundred, few hundred feet and come out to this really pretty bay. It's so pretty with the waves crashing on the rocks and it's beautiful. Yep. one of my favorite stops to make whenever I am here along the North Shore. <music> to see the Split Rock Lighthouse. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's such an icon here. It's a short drive from Duluth and it's quite a historic site here actually, but I think we should get a little bit closer. is sadly closed because of COVID. So we were just able to walk on the grounds. But if you want a tour once when things open up again, just let me know in the comments below and I can make that happen. But we're gonna hit the road and see some more things. All right, so we made it to Black Beach. Wow, 
one thing that I honestly didn't even know that Minnesota had was a black sand beach. We have our very own black sand beach and it's actually really pretty. And it's super cool to enjoy this little beach and bay. you're driving along road 61 along the North Shore you have to stop here <laughs> it's beautiful it is since it's a black beach it is heavily trafficked so if you want photos you just have to wait a minute or so or more but definitely definitely check it out At least what we think is the top and it doesn't quite look like other photos so we are kind of like traipsing through all this kind of rugged rock really close to the water it's like a steep drop and I just have flashes of me falling so I'm away from the cliff now and I'm gonna be walking forward seeing what else to explore it's easy and I really don't want to die coming into Lake Superior It. It's quite busy, but the views are beautiful and there are even people rock climbing down there. I'm not brave enough, that's for sure, but that'd be a pretty cool adventure. But we parked at the lower place, so we're gonna head back to the car and keep on driving but I definitely think if you are coming along here it's another stop that you should definitely take I would also suggest don't park at the top because it looks very stressful trying to find parking one two if you can't find parking trying to get out to get back down Another fun little stop that you have to make while on the highway is come to the Temperance River Gorge. right on the highway that's the highway and it's really really cool take a few photos and it's really pretty I know in the summer a lot of people like to swim down there in that little bay I guess you could call it um, it's fall so it's too cold but if it's summer I'm sure it's probably fun Mountains. I've never been to Lutzen before so we're going to ride a gondola and see it from the top and I think the colors are gonna be so beautiful.
worked on there too. gondola and it's like I said it's windy and we just passed someone that said it's like a typhoon so I can already feel the wind We just got done with the gondola ride and the views are beautiful. I would say though to be completely transparent, if you're not if you're not gonna come in the fall, I don't know if it's necessarily worth the $25 ticket. I don't think so. I think you'd want to come to see the pretty leaves, the pretty colors. And she had a friend that came like five days ago, and even just within five days, a lot of the leaves have fallen. Yeah. So you have to time it just right. Yeah. But yeah, it was still, still cool. <laughs> um, Lutzen is also a big ski town. So if you are into skiing, you can also come up here and do some skiing. There's like four mountains here with tons of different trails and... I think there was like 95 different ski... Hill runs? Is that what you call them? Sorry, runs, I'm not a, I think. I don't know. I'm not a skier, so I don't know. But yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> the world's best donuts and they close in like 20 minutes so they better be good let's see <laughs> all right so we got our donuts since we got here, like right at close, we had the choice between raised glazed, raised glazed, and twists. And raised glazed. <laughs> yeah, and raised glazed. <laughs> so we got raised glazed. <laughs> I right. hope they're good, because we did wait in line for like 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes, yeah. So, so. that's right. That's a good donut. It's a good, simple donut. The dough is nice and doughy though, which I like. I need to come back because some some donuts on their list sounded really really good, and they're pretty they're pretty affordably priced too. I think this was dollar forty. Yeah, they're not bad. Mm -hmm. So besides all of the cutesy antique shops and of course world's best donuts, there <laughs> is a little lookout place in Grand Marais called Artist Point, and there's a lighthouse at the end. So that's where we're walking to the. It's a very foggy day today, so we're not going to be able to see much, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's all about the experience. And we get to say that we did it. <laughs>
so we're almost to the lighthouse and even though it is pretty foggy you can't really see very far it's giving this giving it this really cool misty misty vibe mysterious vibe and it's still really cool <laughs> We need to warm up and grab a cup of coffee. You want to get a cup of coffee? Agreed. <laughs> There's this cute little place that I saw. It's like Java Moose, Java something. Java so Moose, I think, or Moose Java. Something. With the moose. We're going to go get a warm coffee <laughs> and warm up. <laughs> All right, so we made it just in time. They were just about to close, but we got our coffees from mm -hmm. Java Moose. I have a Nordic meal, which they actually use local honey in their meals. And they had a, another drink too, like a maple latte that uses local maple, which I thought was cool. And I ended up getting a campfire mocha. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna drink this, warm up, and then continue down Road 61 uh, along the North Shore. Okay, we're nearing the end of the road and Devil's Kettle is the next stop. It's in the Judge C.R. Magney State Park. And if you want to see the mystery of Devil's Kettle, again, you can check out the card above to see that whole vlog. The last stop, the road goes no further in Minnesota and that is to Grand Portage State Park. This is the home of Minnesota's tallest waterfall and we had such an awesome time in the state park. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and check out this video. All right, you guys, that is going to conclude our North Shore travel vlog road trip. I hope you guys had an awesome time as much as I did exploring Minnesota's North Shore. And honestly, some of those views were brand new to me and I'm so glad that I got to explore them. They're absolutely beautiful. So let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite and which one would you most likely want to see? Cause I'm super, super curious. But with that, I'm going to say goodbye. And if you want to see what's up next, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you guys there.